Hey guys, welcome back. It's day 90 of the 100 day project. For those of you who don't know me and are new here, hi and welcome. My name is Margaret and I'm from the Netherlands. And today I want to do something different than what we normally do. Uh, normally I would get out some paper, some lovely papers and scissors and glue. But what I want to do today is make some journal jewelry. I want to make a spine dangle for the botanical journal, a big chunky one. Uh, so I was inspired by all these lovely colors. What I want to use is this paper clip. I've had this one in my stash for a, quite a while. I have a couple, five or six or something like that. I never used it. It has all these loops on the bottom. So I thought, well, why not use it? But if you don't have this, no worries. You could also use a normal paper clip uh, because we're gonna attach some string to it. A normal paper clip, uh, well, this is not a paper clip, safety pin and or, no, or a normal paper clip. So use, you know, whatever you have. I have this ball of, I don't know, is it yarn, cotton? It's sort of an ombre effect. I really like these colors with the journal. Uh, then I have already, sorry for the glare, this is plastic, already picked out all sorts of yumminess. I have buttons and charms and seed beads and wooden beads and glass beads all sorts of you know yum yum uh, we're gonna use this and um, you can use a needle but i have a much better trick i am using this this is called a needle threader i have this very tall one well, this this piece is very tall i like to have that one the normal ones are a little bit shorter you probably can't see it. oh you can you see it these are the normal ones that are shorter i have a very tall one um, I love this trick. I just found this trick out and we're gonna use this. So let's get started. Okay, before I start guys, I must apologize for A, the lighting. It's very dark in here. It is during the daytime, but we're having some very heavy rain and thunderstorms. So you can hear some rain in the background, perhaps. I've been trying to film this one for hours now and I had to start over again and again because thunder and rain and it all sounds very creepy. But you know, um, this is it. If you hear any thunder or rain, yeah, well, so be it. Um, I'm starting with this one, yeah? And I've already cut some pieces of this string. Uh, I have five strings because there are five loops on here. And they're about like half a meter or 40 centimeters or something. Doesn't really matter how long it is, uh, as long as it's not too long for your journal, or if you're going to use it for your journal spine. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna put the ends together. So I'm making a loop. I'm putting the loop through the other loop. And then making a big loop, put your fingers in and then pull these two threads together through here. Yes, so they are attached like so. Or on your normal paper, uh, more, more. <laughs> Why do I keep calling this a paper clip? On your normal safety pin or on your paper clip. Okay, so I'm going to do that with all five. I hope you like uh, journal jewelry. I love it. I really, really like it. I am not a, a jewelry maker by no means. Well, uh, I was like eight or nine and then I made earrings because, you know, that was all the rage in the late 70s. Uh, and I never had any uh, pierced ears, so I never wore earrings. <laughs> I never did. People are like, why don't you have your ears pierced? And well, the truth is, I am very scared of needles and, you know, so no thank you. Uh, but I always made up a story like, uh, well, you know, if I wanted to have my ears pierced, God would have made me that way. <laughs> no, I had lots of questions, especially those days um, in, what's it called? It's, well, the, it's, is it called preschool? I don't know, lagere school. School when you go to when you're six years old until you're 12. The school system in the Netherlands is completely different to anywhere else. Elementary? Maybe it's called elementary. Yeah, I don't know. Um, at that time, all the girls had their ears pierced and they were like so proud. And uh... and my mom said, do you want to? I was like, no, thank you, ma'am. No, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. 
So I made lots of earrings because that was a very nice thing to do, but never wore any of them. Here they are. All five. I love the colors. Yes. So um, what I want to do is have some of them longer and some of them shorter. So I will alternate between the two. There are 10 um, pieces in total and I will have one longer and one shorter. Right? Yes. So let's start going. I'm going to start. Oh, yes. The trick. The trick. Let me show you the trick. Take your bead that you want to use. Let's say I want to start with this one. I want to have, a, I want this one to have a little hat. A little hat? Yeah. This one? No. This one? No. Let's have. I'm calling it a hat. It probably has like a really special name to it, but I am calling it a hat. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. Okay, so you can like try to pull this through or use a needle. Um, I'm not using a needle or whatever because the needle needs to be removed from this piece every time. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm pulling this through the bead. Yeah, and then pulling my putting my thread in and then threading it through. Wow! Yeah, right? Okay. But I'll, I forgot to put this one on first. <laughs> oh, you're all probably like, duh, Margaret. That's how you do it. And, uh, you know, I'm almost always uh, late to the party. And I am, I'm doing it upside down. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited to do this. <laughs> um, and I was like, what? This is a really good trick. Yeah. I love this trick a lot. And at first I was trying to do it with a smaller one. And then there were some big beads like, well, I don't know, these ones that didn't work. So I started looking through my uh, sewing kit and I found this one. You should almost think that I love sewing. I don't. But I found a sewing machine. And so thank you. Thank you for subscribing yesterday. I believe her name was Kat or Kathy. She offered to um, buy the one that I really liked from um, the UK and then sent it to me. You're such a sweetheart. I mean, honestly, bless you, darling. Um, but I found one. I found one I really liked. So no need to import any. Um, no, this way. Any sewing machines for me. I'm going to buy it at the end of the month and um, maybe I'll start using it then. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully you will. Okay, I have like this series of beads on here now, right? Yeah, I'm not going to put it all the way to the end, just leave a little bit of an edge. And then I am going to tie a knot. Hopefully all the other strength will go, yeah. just underneath the last bead so that the bead cannot move see so it will dangle like so yeah i'm going to space it a little bit i want to have like sort of uh three parts on every i think so probably three let's have a button no, let's do this. <laughs> this is such a... Where's my big one? Such a special thing. Oh, I was so happy to discover this. And you're probably laughing out loud. Oh, Margaret. Poor thing. You've been doing it all along without. Yeah, I have been. All this time I've been like fiddling with a needle and... No, the other way around. And such... And that wasn't at all necessary. What am I doing wrong? I'm doing something wrong. Yes. I'm sorry, guys. I am talking way too much. I want this to go... Yeah, I need this to go in here first. If you're putting on a button, <laughs> go in from the top. 
then pulling your thread through yep like so and then go in from the bottom it's a little bit a reverse style than what you would do if you were using uh, a needle and there you go I am tying a knot underneath otherwise it will move about and we don't want that so there you go that is two and on the bottom one i also want a nice charm i have these lovely ones like see a flower of course i want this to be some sort of a botanical theme so we have this one and then uh, something underneath this no that's two times like a copy one um another bead Oh yeah, let's do this. Maybe this can go through. No, <laughs> not even going to try it. I am not even going to try it. Oh, it stopped raining. It stopped raining. Very nice that it stopped raining. There you go. Second one. See how quick this goes? I am just really, really pleased. Am I at all in frame? Yep. Still dark though. Alright, so. Okay, I am taking out my journal. Because I do not want this to be longer. See? Than my spine. So I'm going to tie a knot. over this one yeah this is definitely going to be the longest bit I, I think I even want it a bit shorter make it a bit shorter love I do not want the beads to fall underneath yeah perfect yes love I know it stopped raining my cat Daisy wants some attention. She's like, Mom, it stopped raining. I know. <laughs> yeah, that looks much better. Let's do another one. Okay, I put a little piece of paper underneath because I had I need to have all the lights on, and there was a glare, I think, from the from my desk. And I think this looks a little bit better. I hope. I hope so, guys. I hope so. So I want this one to be a little bit shorter. So I'm starting higher with well, something nice, something like this. Is my trailer long enough? Yes, it is. There we go. All the way up there. What do we want underneath? Something like this. Sure. Well, this is probably not all that exciting. Um, but, you know, I just enjoy a little simple craft along with me sort of video. Which this is. Let's just do it a uh, nice and chit chatty craft with me video there you go with some nice rain in the background <laughs> hopefully you cannot hear it well there's one what else do we like do we want oh a button no we need a button Oh, let's do this brownie. Brownie one. But oh, this worked. There you go. So many buttons. I have so many buttons. I 
tried to organize them yesterday. Well, the first one worked, this one doesn't work. Uh, I have so many, but so many ugly ones. <laughs> what I mostly do is buy like a whole top of them, like um, a glass jar or something when I find them in, at Goodwills and such. And there are some nice ones in there, but most of them are like, you know, brown or black or boring, boring. Okay. So I have loads of boring ones. And I'm looking for ways to make them not boring. And I found a few tricks. So I'll probably do a video on that soon. What do we want here? I already had some sort of bead. I want half this one on the bottom yep and then some nice like a wooden one on top why not isn't that gorgeous love it i have loads of beads i have loads of everything except sewing machines and just cut this off, Margaret. Make it easy on yourself. There you go. Sometimes I think I don't have the patience to do this anymore. <laughs> Not enough patience. Um, where was it? It was here. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see my, you know, collection of uh, buttons and beads. And such. I mean, I have enough to fill half an hour. A video half an hour. These are my beads. Let's have a look. Cute, right? Yeah. I like it. Number three. Okay, so this is going to be a longer one again. I want to have uh, this bead on here, and I have these, what is called washers, aren't these lovely, it has some sort of sparkle in them, well it has all different sorts of colors, do I also have the one with just, just the green, and some gold, I guess, maybe some brown, yeah, okay. I don't believe I have like enough time to all, do all 10 on camera, um, but that's okay. I'm probably going to do some off camera and then show you the end result. Because this doesn't go as fast as I want it to be. <laughs> there you go. Sparkly one. And then a gold one underneath. Do we like this? Of course we do. Well, this was the longer one, so I'm going to have it like so. There you go. Yes. Next. This one? Sure. Want this to have a hat? Oh yeah. Why not? Why not? Um, starting with this one. Yep. Um, still confusing if I pull this through here no it needs to be pulled from here <laughs> I need to reverse it I need to reverse it. what are you mumbling about Margaret I need to reverse the method to when you use the needle it is the exact other way around 
Yes. I do hope you're crafting along. I would love that. What do we want on the bottom? Guys, help me out. What do we want? This? No, that's too dark. Greenish one. Or... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, we forgot to do a bottom on this one. Well, then we will do a bottom, a bottom at the bottom. Bottom at the bottom. It's already so long. No, I need this to be way higher, way higher. Uh-oh. I need to untie this knot while you are all watching. Yeah, this needs to be higher because I want something to go underneath still. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. Um, let's have... Uh, you know, I was going to go for a button. Look at this charm. Isn't that gorgeous? I got this in Happy Mail. I believe this came from Maud. I believe so. But I do not know for sure. If it wasn't one of Maud's. Uh, I, I apologize. <laughs> Maybe it was one of my other friends. Button. Oh, if you put a button on that has four holes, do not, um, oops, do it in the, the hole next to it, but the hole across of it, yeah? Does that make any sense? Hope, hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. There you go. And then these lovely calla lilies. Calla lilies, yeah? One of my favorite flowers. And my grandmother used to say, mm, those are flowers for on graves. Do not uh, buy these flowers. And she was very superstitious. I just like them, so. Did I use them in my wedding bouquet? I think I did. I probably did. Yes. Oh, I believe it is too tall again. Let's quickly check. Yes, lobby. It's too long. So this needs to go up way higher yes better guys what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a couple off camera so that speeds things up a bit and I'm gonna do the last two or something together with you guys Okay, so I'm down to the last two. I'm going to show you what I made later. Just concentrate on this first. Yeah. So I was thinking... I want to have these on here. Yeah. Starting with this flower. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Very, very cute. Flower first. Then this one, little flower head. Oh, I think it's going to look amazing on my journal. The 
problem is when I start making these, I want to make more and more and more. <laughs> I really love the process. There we go. Right, how does this look? Because I think this is going to look fabulous. Yeah, really cute, really cute. There's one. Then I want a button to be on this bit. The loop is getting a little bit smaller. Be bigger loop. I think this will probably just fit through like so. Yes. Big buttonholes. They are so big. I need to put a seat button behind it. Otherwise it will go over the knot that I'm making. It's very nice. Greenish color. Please let go. Yes. That will stay in place now. And then I want to have this on the bottom. This. And this. Yeah. Do I want something on top of that? I guess I do. I have this one. This is actually, I believe this is a glow in the dark bead. <laughs> I have not tried it out. One. See, I'm getting uh, handy with this. <laughs> Two. A gold one. And the last one. Oops, lost my space, lost my spot now. I believe it was here. So yummy! Last one. Starting with a button, I just decided. Starting with a button. That doesn't want to go on by itself. I'm so happy with this thing. <laughs> I'm so happy. Believe me, I have made a lot of these sort of hangers from paper clips and safety pins and never thought of using this. Never did. Game changer. Revolutionary. I should put this in my thumbnail. Game changer. Revolutionary. Clickbait. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I don't know how to do that. And I don't know why I would want to do that. Because I want my viewers to be crafters. To, you know, enjoy junk journaling and everything junk journal related. I don't need, like, people who are not interested in crafting. Just follow clickbait thingies. Okay, let's see. Um, this one. With let's what's what's what we want to have underneath. Oh no, I wanted this one. This one, very pretty. This one, fit. 
and this one please work with me there we go and then I have like a four leaf clover which is botanical so there we go how far are we over here And this is a very big one. This used to be a bracelet. It has some uh, holes here and holes here. And this is how I created this trick. I was like, well, how am I going to get this through? Because uh, it doesn't line up. It's not straight. And you know, well, you know, your needle isn't flexible. So then I tried this. And I was like, what? Revolutionary. <laughs> Am I doing it the right way? Yeah. So this one is going to be on the bottom. It's a heavy one. There you go. One chunky monkey journal hanger. Yes, let's go see the end result. Here it is. It looks amazing. I have put the pin on my cover, like so, at the top. And then it looks like this. Hopefully, if I maybe you can see it if I stand it up. No, it's the, uh, the camera angle, of course. But it looks really, really cool. Let me give you a sort of a close up of all the beads the buttons so cute so nice these we made on camera this i made off camera look at that isn't that cute oh i think everything's cute of course and then this one i have a little rose and a little butterfly a butterfly yes a butterfly oh, what's another one this one this is a button on the top I have this and this is again beautiful rose what else did I do this one with button yes it's so so lovely did we do this one together I can't oh look at the heart now I remember now look at this heart and the little acorns on the bottom yeah they are all very yummy 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 I love it see the colors go really really well i love making these i hope i inspired you guys to make some just you know get your normal safety pins or paper clips out and put on anything you wish i love them i hope you enjoyed the video guys um thank you for joining me and for enduring the rain and the storm and the lighting i'm sorry it is pitch dark in here it's like having to film at night i'll be back um tomorrow with another video see you then bye